so mad I looked over and I'm like, oh, I'm not recording. That's a problem. Hello friends, my name's Lunar Knight and welcome to a game called The Room for Old Sins. I have already completed the tutorial and I forgot to hit record, but I'm going to go back through it. I'm sorry I'm being really quiet. Mikhailo is still in bed, so I don't want to wake him up. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to delete the profile. Yep, and we're going to make a new profile. So the tutorial was fairly straightforward and easy, so we're just going to go through it. I'm so mad I looked over and I'm like, oh, I'm not recording. That's a problem. I'm just like, how long have I been recording for? Oh, I'm not. Okay. At least I didn't get super far before I realized. <clears throat> I've searched every room in the house but this attic. I won't get much further in the dark. Tutorial. Click and drag the screen to look around. Yep. I think it's broken. I'll need a screwdriver from my case. Tutorial speedrun. My notebook holds all the information I was given for this assignment. We're gonna read the notebook again. Alright. Edward Lockwood. Notes. Trained as a mechanical engineer, dabbled in chemistry, married to Abigail Waldegrave, raised status. Led to assistant position at the Royal Institute. Position lasted one year. Dismissal occurred due to unspecified misconduct. Spouse profile, Mrs. Abigail Lockwood, uh, as basically maiden name, Waldegrave. Notes, classically trained artist known for funding exhibitions, only child of the esteemed Hugo Waldegrave. Marriage to Edward was controversial. On her father's death, Abigail inherited Waldegrave Manor and family substantial debt. Collector report, 1st of November, Mr. Lockwood's reports to my employers have ceased. Probable interference by his wife, current whereabouts unknown. 12th of November, police search for Waldegrave of Police search of Waldegrave Manor yields nothing. These matters are far beyond their understanding. 14th of November. My employers insist the sample remains within Waldegrave Manor. By now, its effects will be unmistakable to the trained eye. Find the trail, follow it to the source. Cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and look over here. I know what it wants from me, but oh yeah. You guys remember this guy, right? With the, with the little head thingy. What was that? I need a better look. Yeah, hold on. Oh, you're not gonna let me. Okay, fine. Alright. Open. Mm -hmm. Complete the circuit. Got it. A dollhouse? Something isn't right. Double click the dollhouse to explore. Yep, okay. Investigate the dollhouse. Alright. Just do the same thing I did last time. And that's open the gate. The surface looks unusual. I need something else for my case. And there's other stuff I can explore, but it's not going to show me anything. Everyone has secrets, something, something, mine. There we go. An eyepiece. Okay. And then I need to open it. Cool. Click the back icon, or I can just right click. Mystery disappearance, husband and wife missing. Break the seal, find the null. Now, if you've seen the other games, you know that the null was found by the person that was chosen. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Yep. I should use the eyepiece to examine the doll house. Yep. You guys are so loud. It proceeds to be louder. Okay. Open says me. Trying to 
creepy. Now, one thing I didn't do last time that is so cool. Let's look around the foyer. Can I look at anything else? Nope, it's just the table. Okay. This is a bad idea. <sighs> they are unloading the apparatus by the cartload, and I see my husband transformed into a wi wide eyed child. He hasn't been this animated since he left the Royal Institute. The men work in silence and stand awkwardly in my presence, heads down, silent. They will not hold my gaze. They look so desperate, I move aside, stay out of their way. Why are certain men so threatened by women of intelligence? They will warm to me as they come to know me, I am sure. The main thing is that Edward is working again. Yep. It seems the books in this dollhouse hold more than their covers suggest. I suspect the key will be to uncovering what happened here, indeed. Alright, so I can look at all this other stuff, but it won't do me any good. I just gotta do this. A brass mechanical coin. Okay, so I know that this goes on the front, but I'm gonna try and put it on the back because I didn't last time. Ah, it doesn't work. Oh, it does work on the back. Oh, so it doesn't matter. It was still open the same one because it's the brass. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I put it on the front last time, so I wanted to see what would happen if I put it on the back. Family crest. Nice. Looks, looks like it belongs on the dollhouse. Yep. And out we go. And the family crest goes up here. And then all breaks in. The seal! The gnome must lie beyond. Yep, and then I hold this down. This pillow behind me is feathers, and it keeps poking me in the back every so often. So I gotta like pull a feather out and eventually it's just gonna lose all its feather from me pulling the feathers out. <sighs> Alright, the stag. I'm gonna turn this way. Come on. Silver coin. Now this side opens. And then we do this. <coughs> and we take this. And then this pops open. Oops. There we go. 
I have one new item in my inventory. Yes, I do. A strange artifact. Oh, by the way, I'm recording this um, with the desktop capture instead of the game capture because for some reason this game refuses to be captured by game capture. I haven't tried window capture yet. I might do that. But I thought that's what I was using was window capture. I don't know. But next time I play, I might, choose, I, I might do that, see if it works um, with window capture. Alright, so that's the tutorial complete. I have found the seal my employer spoke of. It is weakened but far from broken. I am clearly on the path to finding the null element. Yep. So, and then it just continues from there. So, I'm going to go ahead. The artifact I picked up, I think I should take a closer look at it. Yes, I, I should. I'm going to go ahead and leave that episode there. Um, that way I can get this edited and, well, uploaded. And I'm probably not going to actually edit out anything because this is only an 11 minute long video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this one, that way I can get it uploaded and then have each chapter be its own video, and that's kind of my goal. But since it's kind of a continuous thing, it's really hard to figure out where to stop aside from the little foyer complete. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make, Internet setting out. Bye!